We're here at ITU Telecom World 2014 in Doha in the state of Qatar and I'm very pleased to be joined by uh, Dr. Reza Jafari who is chairman of the ITU Telecom Board and he's also chairman and CEO of eDevelopment International and not forgetting of course commissioner of the ITU Broadband Commission. Uh, Reza, it's very nice to see you in the studio. Great, very good to see you again, Max. Now I'd like to start off by talking about the central theme here at uh, ITU Telecom World is future in focus. What developments in technology, policy or business do you see as key to the near future? Well, the developments that is happening again is happening in our ecosystem. Uh, we, for a long time we have been talking about the ecosystem again in the industry. Finally, it's, a, it's made its name and its way, as you can imagine yourself, uh, to the conference and to the forum that everybody is not talking about ecosystem. But even the ecosystem that we are discussing is in the process of transformation by itself. So the fact that we are focusing on the future is very, very important because we, we looked at past for a long time. Now that the event is happening uh, once every year, it's also helping us to pay more attention to what is happening in the future. Now, how important are cross-sector partnerships in that future? Uh, extremely important because, again, as, uh, as I mentioned, the ecosystem is evolving. Ecosystem is tra transforming itself. So the ideas that we had in terms of uh, different regulatory policies and regulatory uh, the things that was happening in the past Telecom operators and te telecom regulators were separate organizations and the banking, banking different from the healthcare, healthcare is different from the manufacturing and the rest. But now probably we need to create ecosystem centric regulatory and governance structure, ecosystem centric business models that is going to help us to ma make sure that this ecosystem delivers what we anticipate. And where do you see the role of ITU in that future? Well, ITU has played a very, very significant role again in, in the past building the bridge between the private sector and the public sector, creating the dialogue where between, again, all stakeholders. Now this multi-stakeholder environment, again, is getting very complex. So the ecosystem that the ITU now has to play has to do a couple of things, a bit of it on the branding side. It is not ITU Telecom anymore. It is probably ecosystem, uh, ITU ecosystem uh, event because we have uh, players from all walks of life. We have bankers. We have uh, people from the healthcare industry. We have educational institutions participating, we have operators of course, and then we have the regulators and the ministers, policy makers. So that, that environment it, it lends itself to the use of name the ecosystem as we move on. Now there are a number of key participants gathered here from industry, from government. What message do you have for them? Well the, the message is uh, let's not just talk about ecosystem, let's not talk about ecosystem centric business models, let's just make it happen. And the only way that we can make it happen, continue this dialogue into plan and action, and uh, continue the action into deliverable, deliverables and deliveries, because otherwise it becomes another event. We went, we had a wonderful time, we had great dialogues, but nothing came out of it in terms of actions and deliverables. Let's just focus on results. So that's very much the value for you for, uh, in terms of this event itself? Uh, the, the, the event itself, absolutely. Again, I've spoken with quite a few number of again, players and participants, some of them for the first time, some of them for fifth and tenth time. People see the evolution of the ITU Telecom. People have seen the ev evolution of the event and, of course, the more importantly, the evolution of our industry that is no longer an isolated environment. It is a m member, a significant member of the interconnected ecosystem that we need to work together and we need to make sure we deliver what the humanity is expecting from us. Finally, to conclude, I'd like to ask you, what key technological development do you think will make the most difference in the next five to ten years? Well, uh, the, the most important uh, uh, technological difference is going to be our contribution to the healthcare industry and to the education because those are the two industries, especially the healthcare that I have spent 15 years of my time, the past uh, uh, 15 years, focusing on the use of ICT for healthcare and the intersection of healthcare and education, as you know, we have a shortage of capacity of doctors and nurses and nurse practitioners, and ICT can help educate them, build the capacity, and ask them to become the contributors as well. Dr. Reza Jafari, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, thanks. Next.